Hey everyone, my name is Matthew Castanelli, and I'm super excited to tell you about Siri Shortcuts. Apple just released a new feature called Siri Shortcuts alongside iOS 12. They pitched it as a way to speed up actions that you take in your apps, a way to add those actions to Siri, and a dedicated shortcuts app that enables you to do multiple things across multiple apps. Together, these are huge advancements for how iOS works and improves daily life, letting you do more with your devices while actually using them less at the same time. So this is gonna be amazing. And I'm not just saying this, I actually know because I used to work at Workflow, the app that Apple acquired and turned into the Shortcuts app. In my time there, I got to write the documentation and I built many of the workflows that are in the gallery that are still in Shortcuts today. But once we got acquired, I saw them continue to update Workflow. And before I started to basically learn too much, I decided to go out on my own so that I could keep teaching people how to use this. Once we got to WWDC, I saw the Shortcuts app come out. And we're doing it with a new Shortcuts app. And then I was like, excellent, I can keep doing this because I am ready to share with everybody how to use this. So as I mentioned before, Apple's term Siri Shortcuts actually really means three things. Three things. There's the Siri Suggestions feature, add to Siri in the Shortcuts app. And the Siri suggestion feature lets you take actions that you do in apps every single day and suggest them onto the lock screen or in Spotlight Search. What you're doing with the app doesn't have to actually occur in the app. Instead, you can take that action and surface it elsewhere when it's appropriate. Basically, these apps donate their actions to Siri and then she's able to determine when it makes sense to surface them to you. So for example, if it's your grandma's birthday on the lock screen, it can have a little phone icon and say, call grandma. Or another great example is if you're having a lunch meeting. Your calendar says to the system, oh, lunch, then Siri can say, turn on do not disturb. You probably don't want to be bothered during the meeting. And then another example that Apple gave was the coffee shop Phil's, which is local to the Bay Area, just up the street. I love their coffee. What you'll be able to do is then take the Phil's app and say, I want to order my mint mojito and it will just do that for you. Basically, the apps handle the actions and Siri handles the timing. Another part of Siri shortcuts separate from that is the add to Siri button. So add to Siri is something that will show up in your third party apps and have a little button that you can tap and you can create a custom phrase for that shortcut action that you were doing, just like in suggestions. Anytime you say that trigger phrase to Siri, she just does the task. So Apple's example for this was the Tile app, those little convenient battery trackers. You just say, where's my backpack? And then because the tile's in your backpack, you can go find it wherever it is and it shows you right there. And then there's even a new Play Media action that Apple enabled for third-party apps to use with their shortcuts so that apps like Overcast, a great popular podcast app, or Spotify, can trigger one of your playlists and just start playing it in the background automatically. So this isn't the same as being able to say play this in Overcast or so and so in Spotify, but it really gets you 99% of the way. And then even further, they know that you want to use your voice too. And so when you go in and do those voice responses, each has custom phrases from the developers that speak back to you. You can use your AirPods, CarPlay, and even the HomePod, and it'll just run with your voice. So it always does sound like it's part of Siri. They are calling it Siri shortcuts, which sort of implies that everything works with Siri, but it doesn't necessarily have to. It works in the Siri user interface. There's a little square right there that you can see, and it just confirms it. And so there's ads to Siri, and series suggestions. What I'm super thrilled about, and this is where my company comes in, is the dedicated shortcuts app. This is actually a redesign of Workflow. You can pretty much see that it looks exactly like Workflow before and after, and even the gallery of all of the actions that I built is still included in shortcuts. So basically you'll be able to download shortcuts from the app store and then check out all the extra features they added. It's got all of the actions that were included in Workflow, over 280 of them, plus new ones to control the system, and Shortcuts works very much the same as Workflow, but since many people probably didn't have time to learn how to use that, that's where I'm coming in. Shortcuts, at its core, is designed to do multiple things in multiple apps for you. It works with little actions that you can just drag and drop and rearrange so that when you run your shortcut, it executes those tasks in order from top to bottom, first, second, third, and so on. Once you set up a voice trigger, it can do all of those things just from one command, and that happens step by step as it's working in the background. And not only does this work in Siri, but you can run them from the app. There's a widget just to the left of the home screen. You can use the action extension and share stuff out of apps. You can even trigger it from your Apple Watch, HomePod, CarPlay, and AirPods, and then suddenly you have all of these things available to you everywhere. On a daily basis, you can be running shortcuts that do multiple things for you. You can integrate it into your routine, 
and then you can get so much more done just by triggering this one phrase. Now this is absolutely amazing because the Shortcuts app helps Siri go from slightly limited into ready to go for a huge range of Apple devices. This is not exactly what a conversational voice assistant might be for some people, but really it's about getting things done. Now, I can't get into the complexities of the Shortcuts app in just one video. There's over 250 actions and there's 10 different categories that you can choose from. So really, there's a ton of potential and it might take some time to learn. You shouldn't worry too much about that because you don't have to know how to build shortcuts in order to take advantage of them. There's the whole gallery that you can check out and that's super useful. Anything that people share online, there's iCloud links that you can download and just add them to your library. And I'll also be creating shortcuts just for these videos and you'll be able to add those and use them whenever you Want. But trust me when I say that the doors of opportunity are open because I have personally built over 800 workflows and this is obviously a little much. Most people didn't actually work at the app that became Shortcuts, but still, there's tons to do. Each of these serve different purposes. They can fill little holes in my iOS experience, and really it enables me to use my phone and my iPad to do stuff that normally I'd have to come to my computer to do, and I just don't want to do that. I can instead just use my phone or Siri and just have it happen. I'm super excited to take advantage of this myself, plus I get to teach everybody else how it works and I think it's just gonna be fun. You can combine images, you can create playlists like smart playlists on iTunes, you can make GIFs, which is something you just can't even do on iOS right now. Oh, it's almost impossible to explain because it really depends on how you need to use it. But at the same time, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna give as many examples as I can and demonstrate to you how you might be able to take advantage of this app in your daily life. Really, it's gonna take a little while for people to get used to it, but I still think there's tons here and let's just get started. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna keep up on this fun new tool. And in the meantime, just let me know what do you have questions about? I wanna know, what shortcuts do you wanna build? Let me know on Twitter at Matt Casanelli and I'll be happy to respond. Let's leave it at that. I'll say goodbye and have fun automating with Siri. Uh, uh, yeah. uh.